all the taste of that other bacon just sitting on my tongue tastes so much better than store-bought bacon and it just leaves hints of the flavor dancing in your mouth. Good morning, Modern Steaders. Today's the day we're gonna taste some of our pasture-raised bacon. It's been almost three weeks since we've harvested our pigs. The bacon's been cured and now it's time to cut it up, slice it up, eat it, and then decide if we wanna smoke it or not. Now, this slab of bacon we cured with maple, salt, and black pepper. It still has the skin on. We left the skin on because it's a lot easier now that it's firmed up to cut the skin off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the skin. The sharper the knife, the better. You can use a fillet knife and fillet up against the skin nicely. That's what I'd recommend. You want to leave as much fat as you can on the bacon. Delicious. Got a nice piece of skin. Look at that nice slab of bacon. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. What better way to fry up our bacon than with a cast iron skillet? Now that we have the skin removed, comes the fun part. We're gonna slice off a small piece, put it in the frying pan, and give it a taste. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty right there. That's gonna be delicious. Let's grab our piece of bacon and fry it up. While that's frying up, I'm gonna cut the slab in half. I'm gonna set one half aside to smoke. And this side we're gonna cut up and we'll save it for eating. Look at that. Oh, a thing of beauty. You guys know me. We have a nice meat slicer for slicing homemade bread. So let's see how good of a job this will do slicing our bacon. Mm, the switch. <laughs> side. Go a little bit thinner. See how we like that. You know what though? This piece of bacon's not gonna go to waste. Fry that up. Alright, let's turn this on and get slicing. <laughs> That's the perfect Delicious. Looks delicious. I don't know if there's a proper or improper way to eat bacon on camera, so I'm gonna cut mine up. Mmm. That's good. It's hard to explain. I've never had bacon that tasted this good before. Mmm.
I know what we're having tonight for dinner. Ziploc bags for now. What are we having this for dinner tonight? I can't wait to cook it up and see what the girls think of this. It shouldn't last very long, that's for sure. Look at the beautiful color of that. That's just delicious. It's like ribbon candy. This fat is just melting with the room temperature. Hey. This next slab of bacon was made with brown sugar, salt, and black pepper. Oh, the taste of that other bacon just sitting on my tongue. Tastes so much better than store-bought bacon, and it just leaves hints of the flavor dancing in your mouth. That's the best way I can describe it. Now again, I'm going to take this slab, I'm going to cut it in half. And we'll smoke half of it, and we'll eat half of it not smoked. This is one of the beautiful things of pigs. Oh, look at that delicious bacon. Mm, mm, mm. That looks so good. But this is one of the beautiful things with a, raising a pig, is there's so many different kinds of meat that you can get off of your pig, and there's so many different ways you can cure it, come up with different things to do with it. And if you can't raise your own pig, it doesn't mean you can't do this beautiful part. That means you need to find an awesome local farmer in your area who's raising pigs the way you'd want them raised. Go meet them. Go shake their hand. Get to know them. Tell them what you're looking to do. And they could have the animal killed, scunned for you in half, and then you could take it home, and you could do all this, or you could bring it to the butcher and have the butcher primal the cuts for you, and you could go this route. You could have them cut everything up for you, make your sausage, and then just leave your belly and slabs, and you can carry your own meat from here on. The other cool thing about doing that is there's a lot of small farmers that are doing this that are doing it part-time. They'd love to go full-time, and they're just missing a little bit more income to do that. So if you went and bought a pig from them, you'd be helping them to go the next step. And the cool thing about that is that's starting a new economy. And I think that's the next step we need to make this shift more sustainable. We need it to become its own economy. And that's one of the reasons why I like modern homesteading is it's not just, I like, so self-sufficiency, to me that means learning to start to do more for ourselves and not relying on corporations. But we still need to have a community inside that self-sufficiency. Because if we don't have that community, we won't have an economy. And if we don't have an economy, it won't be sustainable. I hope that makes sense. I wanted to work on building my smoker today, but do you hear that? That's rain on a metal roof. So I don't think I'll be working on the smoker today, unfortunately. Let's cut a piece of this off and throw it in the frying pan. <laughs> One of the really nice things is look at the coloring and that's just all natural ingredients carrying that meat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Time to try this little guy out. Mm, delicious. Let's give the brown sugar one a try. good, but I like the maple syrup one better. It must be because I'm from New England. Now that we've made bacon for ourselves with our slabs of bacon, we had our skins left on, we're going to be taking our pork skins. So if you don't have bacon bellies with pork skins on them, you can go to your butcher shop and ask for some nice pig skin. This is pasture-raised heritage breed pigs that we grew here in London Acres. 
this is gonna make some delicious snacks for Pluto. We could just throw the skin away, but why would we wanna do that? This has been in a brine, drying out. So now we're gonna slice this up into small strips. We're gonna put them on a cookie sheet and put them in our oven that's 170 degrees. You're gonna to wanna to use a cookie sheet that has edges so if there's any fat or grease melting, you don't have to worry about it rolling into your oven. It'll stay in the cookie sheet. We're gonna put the pig skin in the oven that's preheated to 170. We're gonna leave them in there for 10 to 12 hours. We're gonna flip them once or twice. And when they're all dehydrated, we'll take them out. We have some modern standard home fries going on right here. Those are cooked nicely. Put them in the oven, keep them warm, and we cook the rest of our dinner. Put the potatoes in the oven to stay warm. We've got Pluto's dog treats dehydrating nicely in here. Now we can get the bacon out. We're gonna have bacon, eggs, and home fries tonight for dinner. Oh, that still looks beautiful. Pan needs to be a little bit warmer. Talk about food with a story. We know where this bacon came from, how it was harvested, how we cured it, how we cut it up, and now how we're cooking it. Sizzling, sizzling bacon. This stuff is beautiful, smells so good, we haven't even smoked it yet. Can't wait to get the smoker up and get some bacon smoked with some apple wood and try that. Don't know how well to cook the bacon. Sometimes bacon is good, well done. Other times it's done, left a little chewy. I guess we'll have to experiment tonight and do it trial and error. I'll stick the bacon in the oven too. You want to see what the bacon looked like earlier when I was cutting it up? Yeah. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. You ready for some bacon? Yeah. <laughs> that is nice and crispy. We've got crispy bacon and crispy bacon. Wow, that's good. It is a little salty. I did find though, cooking it up earlier, the more you cook it, the more it tastes like bacon. And if you leave it chewy, it doesn't have that bacon flavor. Oh, you want bacon? You better not eat my bacon. You have to be on the table. Well, there's no bacon left. That was some good bacon. I enjoyed it. Did you like the piece that wasn't salty? Okay. It was good. It was good. It's even better that we know where it came from, how it was raised, and then how it was cured and made. And, and how you cooked it. And, then <laughs> cooked it. and then we gotta get the smoker going so we can try smoking some with apple wood. Ooh. See the difference. 
So hopefully it won't be raining tomorrow when I can work on that. I might like, like it better like this because I don't have a big smoke. Right. I'm not going to smoke it a lot because I'm not a huge, like, big, I like a lightly smoke stuff, but I'm not a big smoky, smoky person. Yeah. I'm going to do applewood smoker for a couple of hours. Just try it and then we'll find out. Cool. Right, cool beans. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Mom and Acres, a guy to Mom and Home saying so it's Christmas to see freedom. Bye. And where Olivia has Bye. chocolate mustaches. <laughs> or chocolate smiles, I should say. It's not a mustache. You got like a joker grin. I know. Yeah. I can feel it. You can feel it. You're you can leave it there, though. It looks good on her. That's her lipstick. She got red lips on her pole. You're a good one. Ski,